What week is it? Coop week. It is coop week. So this week is all about catching you guys up on the chicken coop and the chicken run. And where we left off was, I believe we just had a pad. Yeah, stone. Well, stone, yeah. And we had to laugh because you saw all of our tamping skills and kind of using our imagination. But the funniest part was after that video aired, my brother-in-law sent me a picture of his tamper, which would have been available to us the entire time had we just asked people if they had one and yeah. was like, uh, looks like you guys could have used this. Yeah. Oops. We have extra beefy biceps now, or maybe torn back muscles. I'm not sure which. We decided because we have 10 billion other things going on that it was not the best use of our time to come up with our own plans for the coop. So if you are wondering how we came up with this design, blueprint, measurements, whatever, we didn't. We actually went on to Etsy. We've purchased many things on Etsy before. How much did we spend on these plans? $17, I think. Yeah. So like for less than 20 bucks, we were able to purchase plans. There were a few things that we had to tweak here or there, but overall the plans were very helpful. They laid out the materials that we needed and went from there. The first weekend that we were really dedicated to building the coop, it was a pretty rainy weekend. So I actually ended up building the walls in the garage and then Whitney and my dad drove them down on the trailer. Getting the coop together was definitely a team effort between Jonathan and his dad mostly. They kind of went back and forth. Jonathan built the walls, his dad got them up. Jonathan put the siding on, his dad got the windows in. pretty obvious throughout our whole journey that it takes a village to do just about anything. It takes a village to renovate a house. It takes a village also to build a chicken coop. Jonathan's dad has been helping a lot. And my sister came today. She must be inside. But she brought all of her work stuff so that she could get some work done in the backyard. And she brought Walter. Hi, buddy. Where's Clee? I think you guys are having a puppy play day. You playing with your best friend, Clee? Just finished up the chicken coop roof. Pretty pleased with the way it turned out. Beautiful view in the background. Today was a really busy and productive day. Jonathan and I were hanging the siding and the roofing on the coop. We got it done, that was our goal. But look how sweet this is. I just came inside and these guys surprised us. What's dinner tonight? Um, um, caper, garlic, caper, chicken. Garlic, caper, chicken. So I cannot wait to eat this. I'm very, very thankful for kids who are willing to step it up when they need to and could see that Jonathan and I were busy. If they wanted to eat, they were gonna have to do something about it or they would have to be patient and wait. Oh my gosh. So, quick little story time. Scary working. story time, ghost story. I was inside working. It was a really windy day and the wind comes up through this field like crazy. Whitney and my dad were working out here and I happened to look out at the very time when the coop lifted off the ground. I mean, a couple inches, like nothing insane, but enough that it was like, oh my gosh, that got airborne. If it was scary for him inside the house, imagine how his dad and I felt being right next to it. We both <laughs> froze and like looked at each other like, did, did that really just happen? And oh my gosh, that was so crazy. That was scary. Why he, ha he has to repeat this, so it's not original because he already just said it. But what did you just say to me? We almost flew the coop. <laughs> so I have to laugh or else I would go crazy, but we really did almost literally fly the coop. The coop as a standalone unit was not secured to the ground in any way, shape, or form. We knew that that wasn't the final product and thought that we would be okay until the final product was in place, 
but holy well, crap. Well, it's, it's heavy. <laughs> right. So we would have thought that was plenty of weight. Holy the cow. issue is that's the direction that the wind usually travels, right. and that is the tall, flat wall. There's no aerodynamic. Right. It, it actually traps, like yeah, yeah, it it's... traps all of the wind, and then you have that overhang of the roof above it. So essentially, it was a sail. Now we have it attached to the run. The run is anchored into the ground, and- Well, I use like five inch ledger lock yeah. bolts. They're like lag replacement screws. So like three, stuff. three foot stakes in the ground, and then ledger locks connecting this, which is anchored into the ground, to the coop. Jonathan, as you can see here, drilled out the corners of where the windows are gonna go. So dad is now drawing level and square lines on there so that we can get them cut out. Happy Easter. It is supposed to rain all week. So even though we would like to be sitting on our couch just relaxing this morning, it's gonna be 60 degrees outside. So we are taking advantage of the nice weather and trying to work on the coop a little bit. This plywood is going to be the base of the nesting boxes. Hopefully get the nesting box door cut out today and we'll keep plugging because the big girls in the basement are getting big. We had an unexpected surprise overnight because their heat lamp died on us and we don't know when it happened, but it was completely cool when we went down there and they weren't stressed at all. They were just chilling. So that's encouraging that they did fine. So yeah, we gotta get moving on the run so that we can get these girls outside. It's looking good. It does look good. I like it a lot. Yeah. So we just need to get the trim below it and then we can put the latch on the bottom, right? Yes. The coop came together quickly. We were able to get that up within a matter of a few short days and hoped that right after we did that, that we would be able to move on to the run. But unfortunately, mother nature had some other plans. Mm -hmm. The run, essentially, we didn't do anything with it, not even supplies, because we couldn't go get the supplies on the trailer when it was pouring all week. The coop sat on hold after we got those first pieces together for a good week or more, but then thankfully the weather turned. We've had some rain here or there, but enough of a break in it that we have been able to really hunker down and focus right. on getting the run together. Good morning. It is nine o'clock on a Saturday morning and Clark and I just arrived at Trailer Superstore. We ended up getting a six by 12, uh, it's called a landscape trailer. It's got a ramp and everything. Something that we're gonna need around the property. We're also looking to get a UTV here soon and just need a way to transport that. After this, we'll be headed to Lowe's to go pick up some stuff for the chicken coop. Um, the run, we still have that to finish. Jonathan and Clark just got home with our brand new trailer. An inaugural trip. So within the past couple of weeks, we've also purchased some new toys, we'll call them. But they're very useful toys and they're very necessary toys to get this work done. We got a six by 12 trailer and a Kubota RTV 400. It has a dump bed, it has a snow plow, which is also very necessary for us in the winter time. Um, we learned that the hard way this year. <laughs> yeah, our driveway is just too long. We can't, can't do anything but plow that to, to get out. One minute you have a bonus, and the next minute you don't, right, love? Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> It'll go to good use. Yes. The UTV will serve us well, not only with winter stuff, but just getting around the property as more things come into place. We can't walk around a 10-acre property with a watering can mm -hmm. to give trees and animals the water that they need. So we needed something. We knew that that was coming sooner than later.
We are getting started on the coop run today. Jonathan's dad is here and our goal for the day is really just to get the foundation laid because where the run attaches to the coop, the problem is that the ground is not level there. As you remember, we had to dig out quite a bit to get a flat foundation for the coop itself. And so attaching the run to that is going to be a little bit of a challenge, but we're gonna see what we can do today. Hopefully get it anchored into the ground to provide some stability and weight on this side so that we don't have more of the lift off problems that we saw before. We still have our fancy tether on there for now, but obviously that's not permanent. So we're hoping that the weight of the run on this side and anchoring that into the ground will give us what we need as far as the structure. We were excited to share this video with you this week because while obviously there is still a list, probably hundreds of things long that we would like to do with our homestead in the years to come, the big, big things that I wanted to accomplish this year, this spring, in this warm season was number one, the chicken coop, and number two, the deck. So it feels really good to be almost finished with one of the huge things that we wanted to accomplish. Right. We've got lots of finishing touches, but all of those things feel very minimal compared to the work that we have put in already. Like, what do you think on a scale of percentage? Like, what percentage are we of the way of being finished with the coop in the run? 85 to 90%. Yeah, we I was just gonna have say the... 80. All right, so we have the second half splatch on here. Now the door for the nesting boxes can appropriately secure. Be very careful, buddy, because there's a bunch of screws that we still need to cut off back there. So the remaining things that we need to do are to use hardware cloth to seal up all of the holes so that snakes and other little critters cannot get inside. And there are a lot of screws and nails that have exposed edges. So we need to figure out how we're gonna cut those off because we don't want to injure ourselves and we also don't want the chickens to be injured. And then the coop will be done. Jonathan's gonna move on to building the walls for the run. Let's do it, here we go. I don't know that they would love us sharing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm not even sure what you're gonna share. <laughs> he doesn't know where I'm going with this. I kind of like it. Who do you think I'm gonna be talking about? My mom has always been the type of parent that very much believes in equity amongst her children. Both of my older sisters have kiddos who are going to be traveling to Europe this summer with some activities in school. I think they're band related. Mm -hmm. My mom and her husband, Tom, felt very strongly that they wanted to financially support those trips. And so my mom and Tom came to Jonathan and I and said, we are helping your sisters and we would really love to help you guys in some way. And the way that we feel the most led to help you right now is with the chicken coop. This is the start of a lot of things to come for us. It's kind of like a cornerstone of our homestead. This is the first thing that we have created together at really wasn't here before. The things that we're doing inside with renovation, yes, they have all sorts of our touches on them, but it was kind of recrafting something that already existed. This is the first thing that we built from the ground up as a family for the future of our family and our homestead. My mom and Tom helped to pay for our chicken coop, which was really special. We're very grateful. They did yeah. not need to yeah. do that, but huge help. Extra special thank you this week to mom and Tom, we really, really appreciate it. And Thank we you. love how the coop is turning out. Dad's here today helping get concrete in all of these cracks just to really seal up the he and Jonathan used scrap pieces of the siding from the coop to kind of make forms down here. So we have the outside sealed up. We are going to get some concrete mixed up here in our wheelbarrow. And then we're going to pour it down along the foundation here to seal everything up, yeah. keep things from digging in, give us a little bit of structure there on the bottom. And then what I'm planning to do over here on this side, because we don't need concrete over here, we already have ground contact. I am going to put some hardware cloth extending a couple of inches out 
That way, nothing is tempted to dig under. I don't think they're gonna try to dig through concrete, but they may very well dig through the dirt, so. There have been so many people who have stepped up and helped us from day one of buying this property. Something that we continually say is how grateful and thankful we are for our friends and family for just being a part of it. Annie has a napping Blackberry in her lap. Blackberry is hilarious. She's always been the most social from day one. There were times when I thought maybe she was a rooster, but I think she's just a goof bucket. You having a good nap there, babe? Before we head out, we did want to say that we reached a huge milestone. We just hit our one year anniversary <laughs> on YouTube. Next week is going to be a fun and special episode since we did just reach that anniversary. We thought that it would be fun to take a look back over the past year and talk some highs and lows. What were our best videos, our worst videos? How much money have we made since we've been monetized? <laughs> so stay tuned and stick around. I think it's gonna be really interesting to sit down and reflect over the past year. We're excited to have you along for the ride and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Ready, set, Let's do it. go. Magic. You're gonna have to stop talking though, okay? Did you guys pay for this out of your piggy bank? No. What's her dog? <laughs> Probably eating a dead deer. What are we doing? Making the chicken coop. Yes. Papa did most of it. <clears throat> Excuse me? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm distracted. It clears <laughs> eating the raspberries again. Yeah. <laughs> Walls and got them together. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. She's We're losing the camera. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know if we carried them down. I think your dad and I drove them down on the trailer. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what we did. <laughs> Clark oh. literally just raised his hand in the background. And oh, said, yeah, so, okay. <laughs> Repeat, that'll be a blooper. <laughs> yeah. Then got the walls. Every time. <laughs> yeah, it's going smooth now. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Spoke too soon. It was a little ironic that the week we had planned to like, really work on the coop, it rained all week, so we had to go with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like Sorry. implying oh, rain flowing? Yeah. yeah, water. That was a, a sad attempt. <laughs> My at a level of a joke. I, I got it. Don't know if any of you guys picked up on that. I'm getting boring now too. Okay, yeah, backtrack, <laughs> forget all of that. No, 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 we're not no. eating rocks. <coughs> Before we head out, and the, by the way, this is like take 20. Yes. <laughs> we I don't know how to stop this thing.